Hi guys, so today we're going to be learning how to create this password toggle in Figma. If you're new to my channel, ensure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and if you have any questions within the tutorial, ensure you leave them in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer them swiftly. So without further delay, let's just dive right in. So how exactly do you create a password visibility toggle? Let's do that right now. So first of all, let's rename our file to tutorials. Okay. And then next we'll import the icons that we need. So um I will go to my favorites, one of my favorites icon maker. So um, where are my plugins? Okay, plugins, install plugins. Alright, so let's um go to feather icons. You can use any icon pack, but um this is what I use because it's very simple. So let's look for the password icon. Let's say lock. This is the one. And then uh, the next thing I'll need is I. So these are the two eyes that we need. Okay. So now that I have them imported, let's customize them to suit our taste. All right. So um, I'll rename this line one and this line two. You know how to make the smart animate work. This is going to be line. No, not that. You're not renaming that. You're not renaming that. You're renaming this. So, line one and line two. Okay, so now that we have this, um, let's group them and take them outside of the frame. So, I of, I of. So, I'll delete this empty frame. I'll do the same thing for this group it and just name it i all right so i'll move it outside of that frame and delete the empty frame so i'll do the same thing for the lock group and name it lock and um, drag it outside of the frame and delete all right so let's bring in let's design our input field now so let's just type a uh, password as the input field label and then uh, let's reduce the font size to 12 perms um, 12 still seems to be let's make it 10 all right so let's duplicate that and um, let's say enter password as the placeholder and um, let's du duplicate this with ctrl d and then i'll uh, increase this font size from 10 to 14. all right and then i will reduce we change the field of the placeholder to somewhat gray somewhat gray all right and then uh, we're going to change it from medium to regular okay and then uh, let's highlight these two and align both of them to the center perfect so the eyes let's um change the eyes the dimension from 22 is way too big let's change it to 16 16 and the stroke to 1.5 let's do the same thing with this one so from 22 to 16 and the stroke to 1.5 okay all right so now that we have all these, um, let's bring the key or the key as well. We also need to change it from 18 to 12 and um, the stroke width to 1.5. Okay. So let's align all three to the center and align to center. All right. So um, the next thing I'll do, bring this closer like so and uh, bring this closer like so. All right, so I'll highlight everything here and create auto layer to shift A. All right, and then uh, next thing I'll bring this one right here. I'll bring it here and uh, bring it over here. I'll highlight it with this first auto layout and create another auto layout with shift A. All right, and then I'll change the setting from packed to space between. 
All right. And then the next thing I'll do is to add some paddings and margins. So I will say here is eight and here is four. Uh, let's make here six. Perfect. So let's give this radius of four and uh, let's add a field of white. So if I'm to add a field of white, it means I'll have to change the background color so that you can see what we are doing. All right, perfect. So as you can see right now, we still need some more padding. So let's say eight. Okay. Yeah, now it looks good. Now it looks good. All right. So what will happen is that um, as it is now, the width is fixed. The height also has to be fixed. Has to be fixed. So what will happen is that when I turn off, because you can't show the placeholder and the passwords at the same time. So this enter password, this is going to be the password, let's say Vic Tutorials. This is the actual password. The enter password is just a placeholder. So let's hide the enter password, you see that. So you can only have the password or the placeholder. I think I should increase the margin a bit. It looks too small. So instead of it, let's say 14. Okay. 14 it looks good. All right. So um, after that, I'll bring this password over here and highlight it with this one and say Shift A again for auto layouts. So now we have everything that we need. So all we just have to do now is to duplicate this. So just hold our Alt key and drag it out. Okay, so this one will be password visible. So what will happen actually is that um, uh, this one here, this field here, this frame four, we will have to hide the password and provide only the placeholder. So we'll bring the placeholder and we will hide the password. You see that? And then I uh, will bring this thing in here. So instead of hiding the password, actually. You're going to change the password to asterisk. So let us write asterisk right here. I don't know if the number matches this one, but that's not the idea right now. Okay. So um, let's hide this enter password, and this is what it look like. So this one right here. Oh, okay. That one works. And then this one, we'll have to change the eye. We'll put this eye. We we'll put this I in here. So where is it? You from three? Where are you? Oh, there you are. So um, this one right here, which is this I of, we'll move it into here, and then we'll remove this I. Okay, perfect. So we have everything we need now. The next thing we need to do is to prototype. So after before you prototype, um, you have to convert these two into component sets. So this, this, and um, you create a component set. So after creating a component set, you now head over to prototype, and uh, you click on this first one like this, and uh, you come over here. Make sure it's the eye off, not the whole frame. So you click and drag this. To this place here and you see on click change to property the framework and change the animation style from instant to smart animate and then you do the same thing over here come to this eye and click and drag it to this frame on click change to blah blah smart animates so now that we have our smart animates um let's test it out let's test it out so I'm going to draw a frame. I'm going to draw a frame. And I'm going to give it a few colors green. I want something to green. Something that's somehow dark. Okay, this will do. So uh, we'll now come to our assets. And uh, we'll have our components right here. You can just say password field. Let me rename this from component one to password field. It's best practice to always um, name your files properly in case someone else wants to work with you. So let me just say password field. My 
my system is slowing down i may need to restart it okay so now that we have our frame let me just make it a bit bigger slightly make the frame a bit bigger all right so let's bring in our component from the asset section see it right here drag it in here for testing let's align it to the center 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 and um, let's present this okay so this is our prototype right here so let's test it out remember if we click outside you see you see the hotkey it's just the eye so if we were to click on this or feed right here nothing would happen because it's not a hotkey only the eye is a hotkey so let's click on the eye and see what happens you see that you see that so that's how you create a password visibility toggle on figma if you like this video and you want to see more ensure you hit the subscribe button hit the like button leave comments in the comment section below um, thank you so much for watching see you guys next time